Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Hey there, uh, this video we're going to look at shape tweens. So this is our first bit of animation. So let's look at them. Let's make, a, we'll do a real quick basic one and then we'll implement it into something a little bit more exciting and show some of the quirks um, to a shape tween. So we're going to create a new HTML5 canvas. If you can't see this because you don't show again, somebody's turned that off, you can go to File New, you end up with a similar looking window. You just want to make sure it's on HTML5 canvas. We're going to change the sizes later on when we start doing banner ads, but while we're doing our drawing practice, we're going to leave this all as is and click OK. I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it onto my desktop and do my Adobe Animate project files. I'm going to call this one I'm going to call it 15A. I use these numberings just to help me with video editing later on, but this one's going to be called shape and underscore tween. So make sure that there's no spaces. Perfect. Okay, so a really basic shape tween is I'm going to turn a square and I'm going to get it to morph into a circle. So I'm going to draw a square over here. Now it's using a lot of my presets from the last thing I drew. So what I'm going to do is undo that. And before I start drawing, I'm going to have it with, let's say, no stroke, so a little red line. And the fill, I'm going to go from my awful uh, gradient just to a simple green. Okay, so I'm going to start on the left hand side here with a rectangle. I need to be able to see my timeline. If you can't see it like I can't, you click on this little tab here. Okay, if anything goes missing, say you do lose your timeline and you close it and it can never be found again, this is a handy one. If you go to Window and go down to Workspaces and you say, Essentials, okay, perfect. Go to Reset Essentials, click Yes. It'll rejig everything back to the way it came out of the box. You'll see this thing here has gone back to a single line. I'm going to pop it out just so it's double line so I can see it on my laptop, and you'll see my timeline is back. Great, so I've got one layer, and, and the only thing on that layer at the moment, back to my selection tool, is a square. And one of the rules for a shape tween is you can't group them. Okay, so it can't, uh, it can't be grouped or turned into a symbol, which we're going to do later on. Um, and then later on down here, let's say after 40 frames. Um, so I'm going to right click frame 40. If you don't have a right click and you're on a Mac, um, you hold down the control key on your keyboard um, and click once. That'll give you a, a fake little right click. Um, but everyone else, right click and go to insert. We want a blank keyframe. Because what happens is the first keyframe is going to be a circle. And in this blank one over here, you can see down here um, keyframes. Your keyframe is the one that has the circle in it. This little square thing here, I hate. Okay, you're trying to teach people here to ignore that thing there. It doesn't do anything. It looks important, it looks like you click on it and do stuff. It doesn't, it just happens to be there to show you the ending of where this one goes along and stops. And this new one here, you see the difference between a keyframe that has something in it, it's black, and this one here that doesn't, okay, it's hollow. So I'm gonna get it to transform into a circle. So I'm gonna hold down the rectangle tool. No, it's not, and there it is. There's the oval tool. Okay, I'm going to pick a different color as well. doesn't really matter whether it's a different color or not. And I'm going to drag out a circle. Now while I'm dragging it out, if I hold down Shift, okay, like I did with the Transform tool earlier, it locked the height and width so I get a perfect circle. Okay, so over here, square, and over here, circle. Nothing really happens yet, just kind of flicks between the two. The magic happens with in between, anywhere in between here, right click, and go to this one that says Create Shape Tween. You'll notice the color changes to this green color. And you'll notice now, once I start, what I'm doing is, can you see this little red box here? I'm dragging it from left to right, left to right. Okay, and that's a shape tween. Okay, morphs from one shape to the other. And um, it's best with not super complicated um, shape tweens, like text ends up looking a little bit hard and goes all over the place and also ends up burning up the CPU and kind of running really fast and hot. So um, nice simple shapes it's perfect for. The other thing we're going to do is preview in the browser. So we haven't done that yet. So we've been previewing, or we haven't had to preview anything yet. So there's a couple of ways. Drag your playhead back to frame one, hit return on your keyboard, or the enter key, and you can see it plays through. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way to do it is under control, and we go to test uh, movie. It's going to be in browser, so I'm going to click test. Click on that. And it opens up in a browser and it previews it in a browser. It's always best to preview in a browser rather than in Adobe Animate. It makes a good job of it, but there's lots of things that don't work until you're out in the browser. And this is its final home. 
Okay, I've installed Chrome on my machine. Make sure you have Chrome installed because it's probably the most popular browser in the world uh, rather than Safari or Firefox or anything else. So go and install that to test because it's the best way to test. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just a great way of previewing. There's a shortcut for previewing. Weirdly on my version on Macs, it doesn't show you it. Um, so it's, if you hold down the command key and hit return, uh, so command key return, it opens up in a browser and previews it. Uh, on a PC, it's uh, control enter. But on weirdly on a PC, it'll actually have it written here. Great, so that's how to preview our lovely little shape tween. All right, so we'll leave this basic shape tween here and look at something a little bit more advanced in the next video. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?